Most of us operate in a Google environment using the Google Apps icon moving from place to place. And you can see that previous video I've modified mine using an extension, but, but most of us are used to using the traditional default Google Apps icon. Um, there is an extension we can use that will not only allow us to modify that, but to have some extra functionality as well. And it's called Black Menu. You can see it is an extension, not an app. And I'm just going to add this directly to Chrome. It's five star, by the way, so it's very highly rated. And after a second or so um, of checking, you're going to see it appear as this icon up at the top. Let me close the window. Now, clicking on it will open this panel. And let's try, I'll do a search for Halloween, which is somewhat topical. It's simply going to default to doing a Google search for Halloween. I can instantly go to images if I wanted to find books on Halloween. And under more, there are videos, shopping, Um, news. If there were blogs dedicated to Halloween. Um, so you can use a lot of these features. So a great way to be able to jump around and get very comprehensive um, information from different types of sources. The right menu bar allows me access to some of my favorite Google tools. So I could put in maps, type in an address. I could go directly to YouTube and work from there in News, Gmail, Drive, Keep. If I don't see what I like in the right menu, I can simply drag it across. And now you can see it's available to me over here. So here's Google Classroom. Let me drop that in up there. And now I have a quick link to Google Classroom. You'll notice that with some of the features, you're going to initially have to give permission to your account. Since you're going to be using this, you'll want to be able to get into your classroom account. So you'll have to do that here. And the same would apply for things like Google Drive, Gmail, Google Calendar, etc., Google Keep. Okay, if you do not want something here, so perhaps I don't particularly use Google+, Plus, I can just drag that back to the screen while I'm on this more pages tab and now we'll remove it from my list so I can manage what I have available to me on a daily basis here. You can access your notifications from here. Currently don't have any notifications. Um, you can access your different accounts from here or you can go to um, settings. There are a couple of basic settings in here. Um, one is to send anonymous usage data to this extension. Okay, so basically this is a free extension, but what they're doing by default is they're, um, they're seeing how you're traveling around on the web, and that's what's making it a viable product from their perspective. But you can uncheck that if you choose to. Okay. Um, general settings, um, open black menu in a panel which is like this as opposed to a new tab. Um, the open in new button should uh, open page in a panel or a tab. So basically anything to do with that has to do with this small window or a browser tab. This uh, choose which elements are displayed. I generally just keep it at all. And these settings re, um, relate to your Google Drive. So when you first go into Google Drive, use the recent files you visited as the default page you're going to land on, or open folders in a tab view. Also for maps, you can put in a default location if you'd like. Um, I haven't found too much need to uh, modify the default settings too much. Let me just reorganize that, put it someplace convenient. Other options for black uh, menu, of course, if we click on this, we've seen this before, we'll go to the store 
and be able to see the options that will be available to us at the store, such as rating it. Um, we could open this directly in a new tab if we wanted, so we could control it in a larger screen, which might be nice um, for certain options. For quick searches, I would probably use this, but um, for more extensive searches, I might, I might use that option. Um, I can open it in a panel. That's going to be the default anyway. These are the options we looked at. We can remove it, hide it. Just as a reminder, if you hide it, it's just available here. And I'm going to put it back and put it in the location that I like it. Or, as with most extensions, if you click on it, you can go to a Manage Extensions screen. That's it for Black Menu. A lot of people like it. It's totally a personal preference, but give it a try. See, see if it works for you. And if not, uninstall it.